Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Madam Hams and it has been a busy couple months so I haven't actually been posting much to my channel but I just celebrated a really great accomplishment in my life and I always like to treat myself and so today I really want to talk about Marc Jacobs leather tote bags and in particular, the summer colors. So I sort of struggled with these colors because I really, really liked two of them. So the four colors were scuba, pool, electric orange, and sun. I really, really, really liked the scuba color. Like I don't have any blue in my wardrobe really other than denim. And I, um, I loved it, but I was like, uh, I don't know if I can really justify it. Now, the electric orange, however, and that's probably why you've come to this channel, that one made a little bit more sense for my wardrobe. It goes with actually this little thing that I have on right now. And this is not really a true unboxing video, I have to say, because I was a little bit on the fence. I didn't know what the shade of orange was going to look like in real life. So I already opened the box. I didn't want to record a video <laughs> and be disappointed in the color. Um, but I actually really like the color. So all I did was open the box and um, basically take that first layer of paper off and this is it this is the mark jacobs the leather mini tote bag in electric orange and i love it um it's a lot more vibrant than i thought it was gonna be i thought it would be more of like a pumpkin kind of color but it is more of a hot orange color and that's exactly what i was looking for so yeah this is it um as you can see the debossing is a lighter color um I think this distinguishes it from the orange that came out in the spring. I think that was called Scorched. Um, that orange, um, the letters were a darker color and that kind of lent itself, I think, in a way to make it look more pumpkin-y. Um, this one, not so much. Because of the lighter color, I do think this is more of a summer kind of bag. I really, really like it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take off some of the other packaging so that you can see on the inside here. Um, here we go. The other thing was, um, I knew that Marc Jacobs is probably going to be dropping fall colors at some point within the next couple months. And that means that some of those colors are going to start coming off of the website. And if this was one of the ones that would no longer be available, I probably would have been kind of disappointed. So I was a little bit like, uh, should I get this bag? I got the bag. <laughs> so I'm cutting everything off now. I'm cutting off the price tag because I am keeping it. Whoops. And then cutting off this part of the little packaging for the handle. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I will say that um, one thing I was slightly disappointed with. This is not a huge deal. Um, but. It's, um, it's got silver hardware. So I was really hoping for some more, here's the dust bag. Um, I was really hoping for gold hardware with this color orange, but I'm fine. Um, you don't really see much of the hardware anyways because of the way it's tucked inside of the bag. So I'm not really mad about that. Anybody who's gotten a Marc Jacobs bag knows lots and lots of packaging to keep that shape. But here we go. Okay, so, oh, okay, so the, it's kind of interesting on the inside. The inside is sort of a buttery yellow sort of color. So you can see that here. Also on the inside, typical things that you will see in a Marc Jacobs bag, you've got this inner um, like little flap here that has the color match uh, label, Marc Jacobs label. It also kind of works as a business card holder. And then you've got these pockets here. So yeah, pretty typical. If you've seen one Marc Jacobs tote bag, you've probably seen them all, but I really, really love that um, he keeps dropping really cool colors, honestly. Now, um, if you've been to my channel, you know that um, I'm not really a huge fan of the strap that comes with the mini size bag. So I said this um, I've said this before on a couple of, in the other mini uh, reviews that I've done. I believe that this strap Honestly, I believe this strap is a little bit too thin for the size of the bag. And honestly, considering how much you're probably going to end up putting in here, it's, it's to me, it's thin. That said, I always like to use additional accessories. And so I actually got this 
from Amazon. It's this really cool pink and orange ombre. So this is actually, I guess you could consider an unboxing for this one because I'm cutting this up right now. But I really, really like how this particular strap goes with this bag. So it's like very hot, very summery. And yeah, I'm gonna put this with this. So pink, orange ombre. I had my nails to match here. But yeah, there you go. So this is the Marc Jacobs the leather tote bag in electric orange. I really, really like it. I think it's really pretty for summer. And now I'm kind of looking forward to fall colors already. I know it's it's not, it's just the beginning of summer. But I'm wondering what colors he's gonna put out for fall. I have some, some wishes. I would love to see like a really deep eggplant purple or like aubergine sort of like burgundy purple. That would be, that would be ideal for me. Actually kind of like the color of uh, this purple nail right here. I would love to see that for fall. I would absolutely buy a bag like that. So yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Never know what's going on in Mark Jacobs' mind, what he's thinking. But so far, I've been really impressed with the color. I got the citronelle for spring and now I've got the electric orange for summer. But yeah, thanks so much. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Did you pick up one of the summer colors? How are you feeling about it? Um, yeah, let me know. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. Oh, one more thing, <laughs> I almost forgot. Um, if you are interested in purchasing one of these bags, I'm gonna have a link below in, um, in the description. So yeah, check them out.